Hello everyone, welcome to the pronunciation video series for Tien Ang Mui, Global Success of Vietnam Education Publishing House. We are going to continue our discussion about word stress. This pronunciation lesson focuses on stress in three-syllable adjectives and verbs. As we have learned from the previous video lesson, there are three possible stress patterns in three-syllable words. Da da da, da da da, da da da. You may also remember that common three-syllable nouns usually have stress on either the first or second syllables. In today's video, first, let's have a look at stress in some common three-syllable verbs. Look at the following words and repeat after me. Benefit Celebrate Organize Where is the stress? What is the stress pattern of these words? Did you hear that the stress was put on the first syllables? Interestingly, the word benefit can function as either a noun or a verb, but the stress pattern remains the same. Also, here is a handy tip for you. If a word ends in eight or eyes, stress is often placed two syllables before it. Let's have a look at other common three-syllable verbs and repeat after me. Develop Encourage Discover Again, what is the stress pattern of these words? The stress is put on the... Correct, the second syllable. You can see that in all of these examples, stress is placed on either the first or second syllable. These are also the common stress patterns in three-syllable verbs. However, there are exceptions. Some three-syllable verbs have stress on the third syllable. For example, understand, introduce, overcome. Let's move on to three-syllable adjectives. Look at the following words and repeat after me. Opposite Medical Physical Expensive Fantastic Important Where is the stress? What is the stress pattern of these words? The first three examples have stress on the first syllable, while the last three examples have stress on the second syllable. It is also interesting to note that if a word ends in ik or ikl, the stress is placed on the syllable right before them. You can see that similar to three-syllable verbs, three-syllable adjectives usually have stress on either the first or second syllable, but there are still exceptions. Indirect and overdue are some examples. They are stressed on the third syllable. Therefore, you should use your dictionary to make sure you use stress correctly. Now it's time to practice. Look at the following sentences, pay attention to the words in bold and identify their stress positions. Then, repeat after me. We'll celebrate her success with a party. They hope to discover new ways to promote gender equality. The job requires both physical and mental strength. Equal opportunities in education bring important changes in society. That's all for now. To sum up, common three-syllable verbs and adjectives share the similar stress patterns with common three-syllable nouns. It is interesting to note that many words having three or more syllables end in common suffixes, such as ik, 
O, Iti, and Shin. We will continue discovering stress patterns in words like those in the next video. Don't forget to practice every day. Bye bye.